So we have here a wind tunnel V2. I've had a similar machine before that had the Savvy name on it. And uh, one of the most interesting things about this unit is the dual brush rolls it has. They are counter-rotating. And uh, rather than having a belt, these had a system of gears in it. And I'll show you a picture of those. Now, I've actually had this for a while, but I just haven't worked on it. And um, I learned a few things about it. Like, uh, there was something stripped on this back uh, brush roll, so it wasn't spinning with the gear. Because, I mean, there's a like a plastic gear, and then there's a metal shaft that goes through there. Well, the shaft on this back roller was spinning freely. I, I don't know exactly what caused that, but it wasn't working, so a little super glue fixed that. And then I also learned that there was a screw hidden under this, uh, under the emblem. I was taking this thing apart to clean it out, and I couldn't for the life of me figure out why I couldn't get this loose. And it looked like there was a screw well underneath here that I could kind of see through the clear plastic. And it's like I couldn't figure out how they put this thing together. So it's like I actually ended up, um, well, I didn't break the screw well here, but I actually broke the screw well that holds on to the, the light bulb, um, socket. Well, you know, I've never actually taken one of these apart to that level, so kind of is what it is. And then, uh... This being a dual motor setup, you know, because it's got the motor for the brush rolls, you can shut off the uh, the brush rolls. And uh, I know with the uh, Savvy, they often included both dirt cups, but these can be used either bagged or bagless, depending on which dirt cup you have. This one just had the bag, and unfortunately, I don't have any HEPA bags on hand. I just had a package of paper ones. So, I've got a paper bag in it, which is not great, but it's all I got. And then, um, oh yes, the motor in these things is a small diameter. The fan in it's quite small, which is a little bit surprising. You know, it's like, especially compared to like the normal wind tunnel, you know, which would have had a larger motor. I open this up and it's like, oh, that's little. And there's lots and lots of screws in this thing. And then, uh... Down here is where, you know, the air path leads, and there's actually a divided little uh, piece down here, so the air does go through both of these little paths on the side. I think it's kind of cool, but, you know, things often move so quickly through here that we don't really get to watch it fly through. And then... We got like the turbine tool yeah they're a neat machine they're not very reliable because i know the gear assembly in them was known to strip out and i really don't like this wire down here it's just kind of hanging there and i feel like you know over time that would rub against whatever surface and probably wear out but i think i've done enough rambling here so why don't we just get on to the test so we'll first test this with a single motor and then we'll turn on the brush roll too.
And before I forget to mention this, I know some of the ceiling in there kind of wore off a little bit, especially around where the, uh, the nozzle joins to the body. And it's like I just don't have anything, you know, that would have allowed movement like that. The stuff I have is all like foam rubber, and that would have not worked because, you know, it has to be able to move. Anyways, um, so that might kind of affect things. the suction at the end of the hose. Huh. A fair amount lower than I thought it would be. So with the seal kind of worn away on the uh, little piece back here, this is kind of where I expect to see a difference in the machine. Like I said, just don't have anything that would work well for it. And uh, I just realized that I wired, or I placed this switch in here backwards. Because <laughs> it's actually on uh, it's actually on the hard floor mode right now, despite it saying carpet here. <sighs> it really wouldn't be that hard to get into it to do that. But it's like, this thing was just kind of a pain in the ass. And it's like, I don't really want to have to open it again. I mean, especially for something that small. But, uh, you know, I'm also not sure that we're going to get a great seal on this, just because, you know, this this nozzle is so big. So, I guess we'll just try this out. We'll see what we get, and hopefully it's fairly well sealed to the box. <laughs> a little less noise. We do have leakage around the brussel impact. We do definitely have leakage around the brush roll end caps and like I said you know there's it probably would seal a little bit better if I were to find some sort of material that would work around that body connection but it's like eh. I just kind of wanted to get it done with, you know?
Well, it does a pretty great job at grooming the carpet, but man, it takes a lot of effort to push this thing around. I had it on the medium height setting, but maybe the high setting would have been a little bit better of a fit. I mean, this is certainly a... It's a very unique machine, you know, just due to that dual brush roll concept on it. But, you know, it's like when you're actually using it, it's like, man, this does not feel like, you know, Hoover's old quality. Like, even the uh, original wind tunnels felt much more solid than this. This feels flimsier, and, like, the plastics are just a little bit cheaper on them, which, you know... I'm pretty sure these were produced in the TTI era. Well, maybe. Maybe. But, you know, it's just... It's okay. But it's nothing great.